Ladies and gentlemen, we are less than a few hours away from the Philadelphia Eagles possibly picking two players to change this franchise. The Eagles have looked at a bunch of different players. They've mainly looked at offensive and defensive line. Uh, the Eagles fans have made their decisions on who they want the Eagles to go ahead and pick. So I'm going to go over some of the guys that people have been talking about, and I'm going to kind of give you my opinion on how realistic they may or may not be for day one for the Philadelphia Eagles. So let's get into it. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Joe Castro, a.k.a. Philly Fresh, going to this Philly Philly, the podcast. So today, I want to talk about some of the guys you guys have been talking about, and I want to talk about how realistic I think they could be for the Philadelphia Eagles today, tonight, you know, I should say. Uh, before we get into that, be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, join the family. We are on the road to 10K. Just got off the road to Kansas City. We are out here, man, at the draft. I will be covering it tonight. But uh, yeah, we would definitely appreciate you guys joining that ride. Also, uh, there's really no other also. I, 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 I'm excited. That's really the also. I'm excited for tonight. I think that is going to be a lot of fun. Obviously, Kansas City has it set up really cool this year. There's going to be a lot of events. I'm going to be able to see guys like Jay Tuck out there, Devin Jackson, who's been on the channel, and a couple other people. So I'm excited to go out there, you know, uh, just kick it with the boys and, and just see what happens tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be very different from what a lot of people are expecting. Uh, but let's get into this content man so i want to start with bajan because obviously yesterday i did i got to meet bajan i got his autograph and we took a picture chopped it up for a couple seconds but i asked him i was like hey man, what what uh, number would your backup be if you came on down to philly he said he laughed he he said he would take any number that the eagles wanted to go ahead and give him he did have the kobe shirt on told him it was perfect time you know perfect time to wear that shirt uh get into that mamba mentality but Look, the Eagles have been attached to Bajon Robinson. Even Mel Kuyper had in his latest, which maybe kind of means that he's not going to be an Eagle. But either way, Mel Kuyper even had him in his latest mock draft saying that he's going to go to the Eagles at 10. Um, I, I, I don't know if the Eagles sit at 10. That's, that's the only way I think that's unrealistic is that I don't know if they sit at 10, especially just for a running back, not just for a running back. Bajon is a great player. Uh, but, you know, there's there's a lot of rumors that they want to move on up. There's a lot of rumors that they want to move on down. There was There's rumors about everything at this point. But I don't know how realistic, realistic it is for the Philadelphia Eagles to even stay at 10. I think they are going to have some movement. Um, I did say on this channel before, you know, I've talked to people and it, it seems like the more realistic move is for Howie to move on. On down unless somebody he loves falls to 10 now Bajon Robinson could be a guy that he loves I'm, I'm not you know I, I've said before that he's open to taking him at 10 I don't know how much love he has for a Bajon Robinson at that point I, I mean I don't think anybody does it'll be very interesting I think the Eagles sit in a position that they definitely can take him right I don't think that it would hurt them down the road to take a, a perennial pro bowler at the running back position and a guy that's going to be at least controlled when it comes to that running back contract um, there's there's rumors of us being attached to a number of veterans right you, you look at the guys that are getting cut and everything from the Vikings to the to, to Tennessee they want to get rid of their running back one we could definitely be in that conversation but i don't know I, i'm i'll give you a 80 percent. I, I will be that high on it i think i'm 80 percent that bajon robinson is the guy at 10 if he's there i think that there's a very high chance that he actually gets picked by the eagles now my only thing that 20 percent and maybe even 25 maybe i'll go down to 75 percent is realistically are we going to stay at 10 that's really the only thing that I'm kind of, you know, wary on. Um, another guy is Adabuare. So, out of Northwestern, I, I love the kid. I really do. I got to meet him out uh, also at the Combine and everything, and he was just a really cool guy. He seemed really down to earth, like a really hard worker. Got to talk to him at the media uh, availability and everything. I, I like what the kid stands for. Obviously, he's, I believe he's from around Jersey, something like that. I could be wrong about that. Um, but we see a lot of potential in him and there's been a lot of rumors that the eagles are attached to him and they like him at 30 you know i think they went as far as saying 
how he loves out of Ware. So, again, some of these things you got to take with a grain of salt. I said this before in one of my videos. You got to kind of know who's saying it and why they're saying it and when they're saying it. You know, right around now is a lot of time where you're just kind of throwing things out and hoping that they stick. Um, but I won't do that to you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be honest with you. But out of Ware, I, I would not be surprised if at 30 or even in the second round, if he's there, that the Eagles, you know, are, are in love with him and want to bring him in. I will say that the smoke is real there. I think that 90% if he falls where they feel comfortable taking him, which I mean, you know, that you can say that about a lot of <laughs> prospects, right? It depends on where they feel comfortable with taking him. But I will say with one of those first two round picks, I think that he's definitely a guy. I'll say 90% that if they can, ca you know, grab him again, like somewhere they feel comfortable. I'm not saying 10, right? I'm not saying that they would take him at 10 and I'm not saying they would even move up from 30. I'm not even saying they would really take him at 30, but I think one of those first three picks in the first two rounds, you, I could definitely see in something shake with a guy like Adebuare. So I'm high on that. I think that that is a definite real rumor. I think that's something to watch out for. Um, another one's JSN. I, I know I fell in to this i fell into this and um i'm not gonna apologize it is what it is sometimes you gotta just you know go 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 with the flow a little bit i went with the flow with jackson smith and jig but i think he's a really good player I, I do think he's a really good player and if you're willing to go running back at number 10 i get the concept of wanting to get another wide receiver at 10 getting the best wide receiver like i get it you know a week ago a couple weeks ago prior to that the jalen hurts contract i think it's more smoke to that fire i think that it, it feels a little bit more realistic uh because you didn't know what was going to happen with the jalen hurts contract there's a lot of things happening with your wide receiver so i could have saw it a little bit more back then now Eh, I think that you can answer a lot of um, or solve a lot of problems, I should say, with a Bajan Robinson or a Jameer Gibbs or a couple other guys in, in this running back class that can be your pseudo wide receiver 3B if you really believe in uh, either Quez or, you know, Oz, whatever his name is uh, from Falcons. I I'll learn his name come, you know, training camp and everything. So I will say that I, I don't think that there's much to that i don't think jsn will be a philadelphia eagle especially at 10. if he falls to the second round for some weird reason or something like that for sure i, I could see that happening um now jalen carter jalen carter this is something i don't know if he'll fall to us that's that's probably the most trepidation i have in this decision because i don't know if he falls to us he did say to john uh john clark from the takeoff i think is his podcast he did say that the eagle he had a sense that the eagles and went as far as saying that something like that was said that's what he said uh that the eagles would have took him at 10 that, that if he falls to 10 and he's there they will take him there's rumors that we're trying to move up for a defensive lineman if that's will anderson that might be who miles murphy tyree lost it, it could be a it could be a bunch of different guys right it could be tyree wilson it could be uh jalen carter so there, there could be a different bunch of different guys that they're trading up for but jalen carter seems like a guy that they would love to have obviously the off-field issues are are a thing but you know i had a couple people that were out at the the organization meeting thing it was like a charity event that they did yesterday um and, and they said that he had a lot of questions about his character and he you know didn't shy away from it he took it head on he stood out there and he answered those questions so that's something you want to see he's not running away from it he's not shying away from it uh so look that, i said it before if, if how he feels comfortable with this guy i feel comfortable with this guy if this organization feels comfortable with this guy i'm all in I, i'm i'm with it i feel good about what the kid is especially as a player if they feel good about what the kid is as, as far as a person then you know I, I can't answer those questions like i said i'm Unfortunately, I came in a little bit late like yesterday, so, you know, maybe I would have been able to answer it a little bit more, but from what I heard, it seems like he's a good guy. It seems like he just got caught up. He's a young man, and it is what it is. He's not shying away from the mistakes he made, and he's trying to learn from it. So, we'll see what happens there. I'm 100% on that. I think that if there's some way that Jalen Carter drops to number 10 I think the Eagles are all over it I would not be surprised to see the Eagles try to move up to grab him before number 10 so I'm all in I mean I would go 100% if I could I would say I'll say 95 just because 5% of it is like maybe we don't fall in the range of where he actually goes but I do believe that the Eagles are, are I won't say all in but they're very very they're putting a lot of chips on this one, okay? I think that they would not be mad to move on up and grab a Jalen Carter. So I'm all in on this one. I think it's there's 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 fire, there's smoke, there's everything. There's even some marshmallows. So I think this one's as real as it comes. Um, is there anyone else that I think that you guys are? There's really nobody else 
that I'm thinking of that you got. I mean, I, I will say this, and it, this will be the last one I say because I, this isn't really people connecting us to him, but I know a lot of Eagles fans are really, really like this guy, and I'm just not as high on him. So I'm going to actually, we're going to do this as the comment question, okay? And I want you guys to help me out. I am not looking at Nolan Smith as a top 10 guy. I'm just not. If he's there at 10, I, I, I think that the Eagles could move back and get him. I think he's just outside the 15, top 15 players in this draft, in my opinion. I would love to know why some of you guys think he's a top 10 guy. And, and it's no hate. It's no disrespect. I'm not, I know that he has talent. And I know that he has a ceiling on him. He has a high ceiling on him. But why top 10? Why top 10? That's the question I got for all of you guys. But other than that, I will be at the draft tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing a call in right before the uh, second round of the draft with Jan and everything to kind of just recap what happened uh, week one or day one, I should say, and, and what I think is going to happen day two. But I wanted to go over all of these guys and kind of get your feedback see what you guys are feeling right before the draft but other than that man y'all know what it is man y'all know what it's gonna be i can't say we're gonna be out at the draft but we here we here i can't open the blinds because you know there's somebody holding like a flashlight outside or something i think it's god and the, the sun is just crazy out there but other than that y'all know what it is man i got love for y'all uh and i appreciate everybody that helped me get out here but yeah y'all know what it is fly goes fly and we out here peace Thanks for tuning in.